from Chicago, Illinois, Carmen Salvino. From Los Angeles, California, the youngest bowler to appear on championship bowling, Ron Winger. Ready to go. Carmen Salvino starts it off on the left side. Ronnie Winger won the toss. He liked it to start on the right. All games start left. Salvino's in tight, leaves the 4-7. Born in Chicago in 1933. This fella has quite a television record. For 24 game for 18 games on championship bowling, he has averaged 224. 1959 shot 846 for three games. In a match against Tonyman, another one of our stars, Salvino had games of 268, 290, and 288. And here's a youngster from Los Angeles, nickname Wing. His name Ronald Clark Winger. And he can really wing him. Too high, wide open, 6'7. The youngest bowler to ever appear on championship bowling. He was born in Preston, Idaho. In 1941, moved to Los Angeles when he was just a year old. He has rolled two perfect scores, one to 99. Had a great year in 1962. Let's see what he can do with this one. Well, he gave it a try. So the youngster is open in the first frame. Salvino with a spare. Winger now moves to the left side. He was runner-up in the ABC Masters competition in Des Moines, Iowa to Billy Golombievsky in 1962. He set a new record, winning 10 matches in a row. And this is another match he'd like to win. I'm sure that throws a lot of bowling. Doesn't get there the 2-5. A lot of speed. Has a tendency to rush the line a bit. But this fella has learned very quickly. Started in 1955. They built a new bowling establishment right next door to his residence. He thought he'd try it. He's been doing pretty good and learning very fast. 2 5, he covers. So Winger gets the first spare. Salvino moves right, trying to get the first strike of the match. That's the big assignment, get the first strike. The next assignment, try to make it a double. If you don't, you got to get two more. Salvino, too high, breaks up the 6-7. Carmen looking down at the foul line. Carmen can really crank him. Uses a three-finger conventional grip, but actually uses the finger holes as a fingertip. Just puts him in up to the first knuckle. Buries his thumb very deep and then winds the ball up. See him cock his wrist over and of course that's the way he tries to get out of the ball. Gives it the big turn and lets it ride. Very colorful performer. Was captain and playing manager of the Dallas Broncos in the National Bowling League. Picked up a nickname down there. They called him Mr. Spook. Here it comes. Oh, that five pin. Had him dancing, and that five pin continues to dance. And the AMF pin spotter will be right down and pick it up and put it back off spot. Returns the wiggle, even, yet. A mechanical phenomena. The AMF 
pin spotter and the new revolutionary spare maker. There's the cover. Of course, you have to make the spares yourself, but the spare maker shows you how. Here's the youngster now, Roy Winger, looking for his first strike on championship bowling. From Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Too high. On the roof, and he got it. Yes, sir. Well, he likes that. And who wouldn't? Now moves left with a chance to get right back into this match. He trails by 10 pins. The first strike of the match. Winger will try to make it the first double. has no worries. He just gets up there and lets it sail. Introducing another new name, a new star, certainly that will shine. Ron Winger of Los Angeles. Salavino tries to wind, can't carry. Gets a piece of the pocket, the 2-5. 1961, the winner of the Professional Bowlers Association's Empire State Open in Albany, was a finalist in the All-Star Singles in Miami Beach, finished fifth in the finals. Nice cover. He was third in the 1962 PBA Tournament of Champions. Moving to the left, Salvino looking for his first strike. Never get there. Short again, 2-5 again. And let's watch the spare maker now. It'll tell us right where to throw the ball between the two and the five. Don't get too much of the two or you're gonna leave the five. Look out, Carmen. Well, he just didn't want to get too much of the two. He was concerned about picking. Threw it out too far. The ball stayed there, and Salvino is open in the fifth. And the youngster, Ron Winger. His shirt says Roy, but his name is Ron. He dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it on the Brooklyn, and he had a Brooklyn there in the third frame, followed it with a good pocket, comes back with a Brooklyn, and that's hard to beat. So at the end of five, Salvino is open, 83, the youngster moves left, working on a triple. One more? Yes, sir. This fellow reminds me very much of Dick Weber. When you first look at him, however, he moves much faster than Dick does. He's a much younger fellow. Here's Salavino, winds one up. Here he comes, eight pins solid. Oh. Well, sometimes when they get you down in this game, they just won't let you up. Here's Winger with two Brooklyns and two pocket hits. He sits on four. Salavino comes along and hits the pocket solid and leaves the eight. And Winger has had two Brooklyns here on the right side. There's the cover. Carmen Salavino. Still holds the record for the American Junior Bowling Congress. When he was 16 years of age, he shot 738 in sanctioned competition. That's an all-time high. And as a junior, averaged 203 for the season. Let's try it again, Carmen said. There it is. <laughs> Carmen has a little uh, displeasure to demonstrate by kicking at the pins. And the youngster moves in. Now he has two Brooklyns in a row here. What would you be thinking about? Ron says, I better keep this one on the right side. Maybe he will. Too high. Oh, he almost got away with it. Too high leaves the seven. Shakes his head. He was a bit conscious of those two Brooklyns, but he still didn't throw it out too far. So the young fella moves in on the right for the spare. Interesting, too, we mentioned that he looks a little like Dick Weber. Dick Weber is his ideal. He says that Weber's the kind of bowler he wants to be. He also likes the free swing and the style that Weber has. 
His number two man on his popular list is Billy Waylou. Of course, Winger weighs 145 and Waylou weighs 225. You're gonna have to grow up a bit. He wants to emulate Big Bill, the Texas lad, as Winger moves left, has a lead of 34 pins. There it is! Oh. Chopsticks, well, and he got himself one there. He splattered them all over. A strike in the eighth as Salvino now will try to hit him again. He had an eight pin solid here. He's on a strike. He's got to move. Here he comes. Too high, too high, too high. Carmen shakes his head. Six, seven. That's the same lead that Winger had in the first frame. On this same lane. Gave it a good try. Let's see what Carmen can do. Too much of the six pin. Great try. Carmen Salvino. Carmen's wife, Ginny, is a very accomplished bowlerette, averages 190. In 1960, Carmen led the Chicago Classic. And Mrs. Carmen Salvino led the Ladies Classic. The four pin. So as far as uh, Married couple combinations, you'd have to say that the Salvinos and the Christophs would rate as two of the finest in the country, along with the Don Carters. Salvino at the four. There it is. So Ronald moves in on the right now. He's got himself quite a lead, and he can add to this one. He's got a 247 game staring him in the face. If he can get past this lane, this is the tough side. Tough for all of them. Winger now. He's been high here three times. This time he comes in. Sit in. Look at that. He cares. Yes, sir. Great opportunist, this kid. He doesn't miss a chance to take advantage of a strike, and that's the game, really. When you get a lucky strike, it's no good to you unless you can do something with it. Now he moves left. He's on a double. He had a real splasher over here in the eighth. Let's see what he can do in the tenth. On two. He's had a four-bagger and a double. Chance for 240. Sets it. Too tight. Four pin. Not too far away. In 1962, this youngster entered two events on the PBA Tour, and he made the finals both times has his own pro shop at the Bolarama Bowl in Los Angeles. Throws a three-finger ball, fingertip, very wide span. That's what most of the youngsters are throwing. He's got it. Dave Sutar, another one of our youngsters, throws that wide fingertip. Five and a quarter inches across. Ronnie's widest span for the first finger is four and three quarter inches. That's stretching it out pretty good. And with all that speed, fingers have got to really hang together. In the tenth, 224. An eighth in count and a nice start. For Ronald Clark Winger making his first appearance on championship bowling, a 224 game. Salvino is high. But he kicks the four out. So Carmen, still in here with a 180 game. He'll trail by at least 40 pins. If he doesn't get this one, it'll be 50. Solid 10. Pretty good hit. And Carmen couldn't afford it. Carmen having a word or two with Bobby Kowalik from Detroit and his buddy George Howard sitting up there. Carmen wanted to know what was wrong with that. Well, there's the cover. And the 20, so for Salvino, it's 224 for, or correction, for Ron Winger, it's 224 for Salvino, 171. 
We'll be back for the second game of three on championship bowling from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, here at the Major League Lanes. This is Fred Wolf. We have an invitation from our hosts. Shall we listen? Starting game number two, he won the toss. Starting on the left side, lane 27, throws Curry. Curry gets there, leaves the four pin on a thin hit. He left the four pin on a solid hit in the 10th. 224 start, has a lead of 53 pins, but he's got a pretty tough man to worry about, a fellow who can come back and probably will. A free swinger, this kid, he just lets him fly. Plays golf occasionally at the four pin. He has the spare. So Carmen Salvino with two open frames, won a wide open split to 6 7, and he missed the 2 5. Hasn't had a double, had two strikes the first game. And that's not Carmen Salvino. 10 pin again. Well, it must be the angle, Carmen. The boys will tell you when you leave the 10 pin. Playing the wrong angle. Of course, these lanes have been conditioned as they are for each match, all checked out to ABC specifications. All competition sanctioned by the American Bowling Congress. Carmen gets the spare. We are using AMF tournament grade Kimwell pins. Each pin registered to ensure watched weights of each set. There's not more than a quarter of an ounce throughout the entire 10 pins. Variation. There it is. So Salvino with a big smile after his strike, giving him 20 in the first as the youngster moves in on the right side. Solid. Ronnie Winger. First year, he averaged 123. He was just a growing boy, 1955. Second year, 177. Third year, 188. Fourth year, 198. He now weighs 145. At the 10, he covers. Boy Belcher, one of the stars out on the West Coast, has uh, been greatly responsible for the way this youngster has progressed. He certainly learned the things that uh, are necessary, and one of them seems to be not to be afraid of names. Salvino doesn't mean too much to him right now. First time we've seen him work, and he just fires. Doesn't get there, the 2458, they call that the bucket. Played high school football in Van Nuys, California, was a quarterback. Let's see how he handles this one. The AMF spare maker says, go right through the two and the five. He went through the two and picked the five. Left the five, picked the two, the four, and the eight. And that's his second open frame. He started with a wide open split, gave Salvino a chance to get away, but he didn't go too far when the youngster came back with four. Salvino reaches, throws on his knees, but it doesn't help. He still has a solid 10. Carmen Salvino. A 10-pin solid, a strike, a 10-pin solid. Two 10s here on the right side. There it is. Had to hang on. Carmen almost got out of his trousers. Carmen wearing one of the King Louis shirt and trousers. 
that match. This was only colored television. They're bright yellow, very attractive. Shirt and matching slack. Salvino tries it again. Doesn't get there, the two five. So Carmen, who could very well have been away with three, only has one strike to show for, for what his efforts have been, and he has a pretty tough shot here. Winger just picked it. A two off the five. Let's watch it. He's got it this time. Carmen missed that one in the first game. He didn't get up there. This time he played it more to the right. He didn't uh, move it to the extreme left. As the youngster moves in uh, on the right side, looks down at his feet, that wide fingertip. Tucks his little figure in under the palm of his hand, and he's too high, leaves the four seven. Another one of the boys that uh, brings that little finger in to the palm of his hand and presses the back of the little finger against the ball. And Ron actually spreads it out as far as he can get it. He has long fingers. There it is. Interesting, in the Winger family, the sister, Ronnie's sister, doesn't bowl. His mother and father don't bowl. His father's a stagehand out in Hollywood. And Ron, in as much as this new establishment was just next door, tried it out and liked it. There's ten pins solid. Started to do a dance out there. He knew he put that one where he wanted it. This is the fastest uh, ball we've seen in our field of 24 of the nation's top stars. One of the fastest balls we've seen in some time, really. He really fires. Ten pin, no problem. So Salvino will try it again on the right side. He has had two solid ten pins here in succession. Winds one up. Tries the Brooklyn, leaves the five. Carmen likes to work on crossword puzzles. There it is. He's got it. He moves left. This game very close with the end of five. Salvino 77 spare. Winger 63 spare. In the six, Salvino reaching out, shakes them up, gets the big strike. Closing the gap as Ron Winger tries to hang on. He won the first game by 53 pins. He trails in this one by 14, the margin 39. Winger has them. Hasn't had a strike this game. Has had two 10 pins and a four pin. Gotta hurry. Four pin this time on a thin hit. Four bagger in the first game, which pulled him out in front real quick. He had two Brooklyns in a row over here and then got two pocket strikes on the left, which gave him four bagger and put him out in front. Picked up a double in the eighth and ninth to win at 224 to 171. He converts another spare. He's at one open and five spares and six frames. No strikes. Salvino has had two strikes. He sits on one. He'd like to get a double. There it is. Well, he got rid of a lot of them that time. So now Winger with a strike to work on in the seventh as Carmen Salvino moves in in the seventh, working on that very important strike.
There it is. And Carmen gets his first double. Takes a bow and now begins to cut into the lead that the youngster piled up in the first game. A 53 pin deficit. Salvino now has picked up 25 of them. He's on another strike. He can put his opponent on the spot. Winger sits on a strike in the seventh. We're in the eighth frame of the second game. Championship bowling from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Too high, right in the middle, the 6-10. So Salvino could not string them out. The king of bowling in Chicago in 1957. Won the Chicago match game title. A real tough one to win. He won it twice in 52 and in 54. Look out on the outside. Now the AMF Spare suggests, that being one of the 1,023 possible spares, suggests that you throw the ball to hit both pins. And Carmen, I believe, was trying to do that. But you do get a little leeway occasionally. And he made the 6-10 on the outside. Here's the youngster now from Los Angeles. Needs the double. Doesn't get there. The 2-5 again. This fella won runner-up honors in two of the big events in 1962, the national events. Runner-up to the ABC Masters champion, Billy Golubievsky. He and his partner, young Dave Grooms, were runner-ups in the National Match Game Doubles Championships. Look out. Got it. Nice shot. 2-5. He covered it. So we go into the ninth. Salvino, very much in contention. $1,000 goes to the winner. $500 to the runner-up. Both of these boys will make another appearance, meeting different opponents in our field of 24. Total pins for the six games, the top two scorers qualify for the finals with a $15,000 added purse. Winger throws too high, 6-10. You know, you may not realize it, but one of the most popular ways to join a bowling team or a league is right in the very company where you work. Many companies and plants have their own leagues, and that's an excellent way to get together socially with your fellow employees. Also, one out, he's got it. Many times you will find company executives taking part. Nice way to meet them. If you don't have a league at your office or plant, check with your bowling proprietor. He'll help you organize a league. Salvino, there, all right. Hands in pocket. And Carmen can't understand why he doesn't have more than the scoreboard shows. 171 the first game. Hasn't had an open frame this game. Moves to the left for the 10th frame and a chance for 225. Big turn. Hurry up. 10 10 again. Carmen hangs his head. Mr. Spook, they call him. Great kidder. This fella enjoys living. Has a lot of fun. There it is. Carmen's quite a baseball fan. He can quote league averages. He can quote the lineups of most of the major league clubs. Also likes to take a swim occasionally. Never get there. 2-5 again for 2-0-3. So Salvino with one double, no opens, 2-0-3. As young Ronald Clark Winger from Los Angeles, California, the youngest bowler to ever appear on championship bowling. Trying to win his first match. Throws out. Here it comes. There he leaves the 5-7. And this match now is going to be very close. Ron got some action there. But the 5-7 didn't even move. He doesn't make this one. 167. Carmen will have 36 of those 53 pins back. We'll go into the 10th frame with about 15 to 17 pins separating. Winger and Salvino. 
Too much of the five, and Winger is open. The second open frame, and this the second game without a double. So for Salvino, it's 203. For Ron Winger, 167. We'll be back for the third and final game. The boys will take a breather here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, at the Major League Lanes. This is Fred Wolf. We have our hosts now. Let's pay attention. Here are the scores at the end of two games. Carmen Salvino, 171, 203, a total of 374. For Ron Winger, 224, 167, the total is 391. A lead of 17 pins, Winger out in front. Are we ready for game number three? All right. Salvino trailing by 17 pins into the third game. There's a new one, Carmen, the eight pin. Salvino throwing that ball in that pocket. Unable to carry in the last game, the second game, he started with a 10 pin, a strike, a solid 10, lost the double, had a 10 pin in the 10th on a strike, one double, 203. Winger, who started with 224. Had a lot of trouble the second game, getting only one strike, but he left two tens and two fours. The five seven in the tenth, the margin, 17 pins. The question, can the youngster hang on? On his first appearance on championship bowling, a chance for $1,000, and there it is. So here we go. It's youth against the veteran, Ron Winger. The 1959 Southern California Junior Bowler of the Year. Much like Dave Sutar from Detroit, one of our youngsters in the 24 stars that appear here on championship bowling this year, also was a junior champion of Michigan. In 61, he won the California State Masters title. This fella right here, look out. Oh, he got away with it. Well, that's youth for you. Not afraid of a thing. He just sails them up there. Two Brooklyn's the first game, which he made into a four-banger. Salavino in the second throw. He's there, finally carries. So the margin now, 27 pins, eight frames to go. Salvino moving left. For 18 games on championship bowling, Salvino averaging 224. His high game has been 280. He's had two 700 totals, 742 and 703. Trying for the double, and pin is still up there. The wobble and the wiggle. So it's an eight pin and a 10 pin with a strike in between, much like the second game when he started with a 10, a strike, and 10. So instead of starting these last two games with triples, Salvino is just going 20-40 spare if he gets this one. All right. Got it. So Winger now moves in on the right. After caving one in in the second, he had a good strike here in the first. Let's see what he can do with the lucky one. This is what counts. You don't get too many lucky ones. When you get one, take advantage. He gets in a slight crouch. He's out too far. Way out there. This is the head pin, the one, two. So he's not getting away too far. Salvino has room. The one, two. One of the easiest shots you can possibly get if you're going to get two pins to shoot at. He's got it. This young fella averaged 218 in 1962 to be top man in the Los Angeles Classic. Beating out Hank Lauman. The boys out there are paying attention to this young fella. Hasn't taken him long to learn. Here he comes. Ted Finn stops Winger. 
He makes a funny motion out there at the foul line after he releases the ball. He feels that ball is going where he wants it to go. He sort of uh, gets up on his toes, goes into a slight kick. He did that earlier and left a 10 pin solid. Covers. Got it. So Salvino now's got to make the move. He trails in this game by eight pins. He went in trailing 17. The margin's 25 pins, six frames to go. Salvino in the fourth. Right in the middle. And he has the six pin. Over the weeks, you'll see the greatest here from Winston-Salem, North Carolina on championship bowling. Our statistician, Jim Gleason, promotion manager for the Major League Bowling Incorporated with 22 establishments in the Southeast. And the top man, Dick Kazmaier, the president, former Princeton All-American football player. We're going to be Meeting Dick at the conclusion of our series. He'll be presenting the winner with the big trophy. There's a strike by Salvino. So we reach halfway in the third and final game. Salvino with a strike. Ron Winger moves in on the right. He is on the spare. He started with two. Caved one in in the second frame for the double. That looks like it's too high 4-9, and now this match gets very close. A bit tight, 4-9. Let's see what he can do with it. You'll see Billy Waylou, the great Dick Weber, Pat Patterson, Lindy Farragelli, George Howard, Fred Lenning, Joe Kristoff, Frank Klaus, Eddie Lebensky. Here, almost. Great try. And he loses some count. So at the end of five here in the third and final game, Salvino is working on a strike. 79 strike. Winger is open with 93. Winger now in the sixth frame after the open. Lines it up. There it is. There's the big strike. So Salvino can get this one. It'll be practically tie. It'll only be a pin or two. Salvino needs it. Leaves the seven. Carmen shaking his head. He has hit them solid. He has lost them thin. And that was a big strike for him. The margin will be 11 pins with this cover. Had Salvino carried that one, the match would have been practically tied to the pin. So Carmen with the spare. Four frames to go. It's still Ron Winger, the youngster. His first appearance on championship bowling. Can he hang on and make it? a victorious introduction on national television. Salvino will try naturally to spoil his first crack here. There it is. That could have been Trey. Harmon stands to make sure that they're all down. As Winger now on a strike. Out in front by 11 pins. This one would put him 21 pins out in front with three frames to go. A 4-9 here in the fifth. He's thinking of that. He doesn't want to be too high again. He throws it out. It's out there. Here it comes. There, 5-7 this time. And now Carmen Salvino is in the driver's seat. Salvino is on a strike. Winger will have to make this one. Salvino actually can take the lead without a strike, but a strike with a pin or two in count can give him a cushion in the ninth and tenth frame. Very close. Let's see what the youngster can do with this one. Too much five pennies. Oh. 
So Winger now moves left. He's had two splits here on the right side. One a bit high to 4-9. That one a bit light to 5-7. You know the Red Cross reaches into your community. It brings blood to the sick, helps the injured in hospitals and clinics. Training programs of first aid, swimming, life-saving, small craft safety. The Red Cross. The tent pen. You must help the Red Cross so the Red Cross can help you. We're in the eighth. Winger, who's had that ball around the pocket here for five straight frames, and he has one strike to show for it. At the tin pin, has the spare. Winger has had a 10 pin, then the 4 9, then a strike, then a 5 7, and now a 10 pin in the 8th as Carmen Salvino now can put the finishing touches on this one with a strike here in the 8th frame. He throws Brooklyn. And uh, is a bit ashamed of himself but probably feels that inasmuch as his opponent winger got a couple of Brooklyns in the first game and he caved one in in this, the third game, Carmen has decided to keep it. We're in the ninth, and Salvino now takes the lead for the first time since the second frame of the first game. Ten pin solid, he didn't get too far. Winger is still in here. Now Salvino went through the last game without an open. Had one double for 203. This game much the same. Does not have an open, one double. There it is. So the youngster now from Los Angeles, California, moving in on the right side, knows that uh, Things are not going too good. Salvino is 10 pins out in front. He has one frame to bowl. Winger will finish first. Carmen will know exactly what he needs. Too high. The 310. Three straight splits here on the right side. Two of them on pocket hits. That one on the nose. The baby split. If Winger misses this one, Salvino can waltz home. If Winger can make this one and double in the 10th, he can force Salvino to mark. He's missed it. And that's it. Looks like Mr. Salvino is home free, winning $1,000. Both of these boys will return in future matches. Another appearance, six games, total pins. The top two scorers qualify for the finals with a $15,000 added purse. $60,000 in all, $10,000 for a sanctioned 300 score. Winger throws, then carry. So Ryan can still get 178. Salvino, with a miss in the last frame, would come in with 190. 194 or 5, 178. Depending on counts here, Ron can still make it tough and keep Salvino paying attention in the 10th. Not now. 168. That was a big double. As a matter of fact, the 9th and 10th frames were quite important for this young fella. It would have forced Salvino to get a double if Winger would have picked up a double. Two marks would have made it difficult. Now Salvino has the match locked up, as they say, or in the bag, and just has to finish. But both of these boys are going to have to turn on the steam in their next appearance. Here he comes. Well, a dead pin was the last one down. So Salvino bowling a very strong game here. He's had a seven pin, a 10 pin, an eight pin, two 10 pins, a 10 pin on top of his double, trying for 218, which would give him 592. Too high, wide open. 
Carmen will probably settle for 207. Getting two of these, unless he tries to get fancy and tries for three. Shooting for two, or possibly some action off the kickback. So for Salvino, it's 207 for Winger. 168. We'll check the totals, have them for you in one moment. Right now, let's see what our hosts have to say. Here are the final results. Ron Winger, 224, 167, and 168 for a total of 559. For Carmen Salvino, 171, 203, and 207 the total, 581. The winner, Carmen Salvino over Ron Winger. Did you folks enjoy the match? Well, Had a little uh, Tintin uh, problem there a few times. Well, but I'm, you glad I, I'm glad I ran out, of, ran out of games or I might have went crazy with all them Tintins. With all those Tintins. And Ron, uh, for your first uh, introduction on championship bowling, you started out very well, but uh, had a little problem there the last two games. Yeah, I got a couple of splits there and started pressing, I guess. Do you have a patent on those two Brooklyns you fired there? You had uh, Carmen worried with those two. I should have stayed there. You should have <laughs> stayed there. Well, you boys will be making another appearance. I want to wish you both a lot of luck. Six games, that's the important part. Ron, take care of yourself. And Thank you. Practice, man. Practice. Let's give him a nice hand. See you, boys. Well, try to join us again next week here from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, for another day there, will you? Bowling is sanctioned by the American Bowling Congress, and we wish to thank AMF for their cooperation in helping us to produce championship bowling. <laughs>